Alright, uh, one small fix here and we are going to proceed with our F user object. The thing is when we show our uh, loading spin and then as soon as we get our callback we dismiss our view and then print this verification email sent. As you saw in our previous lecture, it went so fast that our user actually didn't have time to read this text. So in order to get rid of that problem we can just uh, remove this dismiss and once uh, we show our spinner and the callback is coming into action, one of these two will be called. So either we show a success or we show an error. In both cases, whenever Progress AGD shows another view, the initial one will be dismissed anyway. So we don't have to dismiss it uh, and then show something else. So in this case, we don't have to dismiss it manually. We are just showing another information to our user and the first one will be dismissed uh, by default. This way we will have time actually to read this uh, information. You may test it, uh, just make sure you delete your user because otherwise it's gonna just throw you an error that there is no, the current user already exists or something like that. Okay, um, let's get back to our F user object. And what we want to do now is we are able to authenticate a user, but in order to create our F user object, okay, we are going to get this um, unique ID of our user from our auth data, which we already have once the user is registered. Um, we just have to create the rest of the variables for our F user object because currently it has only one, which is object ID. So let's, uh, let's write the rest of the things we need for our user to have. I mean here, if you want your user to have less or more things, you can always come back and add any parameters to the user that you may be required for uh, depending from your application, not only on the, this application. So we have our user is going to have an email, a user name, uh, which is type string, um, I just get rid of this error, and then we have date of birth. So our date of birth, which is a date, um, and we have var is mail. The reason uh, this is a boolean. The reason our object ID is let, which is constant and everything else is var is because our object ID is not gonna change during the lifetime of our F user object. It will be given to it when we register it and it will stay the same forever. But uh, everything else, the user may change its username, date of birth, change his uh, gender, change his email address. That's why we have them as variables because the variable can be changed and uh, let which is constant cannot be changed. Okay, then we have our avatar. And our avatar is a UI image and we put a question mark optional and also this will throw us an error. Uh, and the reason is we need to import UI kit because UI image is part of UI kit. And then uh, apart from our avatar, we need uh, profession, which is a string. Then um, let's put a var job title, which is a string as well. Var about, which um, is a string. So here just the user writes some short description about him or herself. The profession is you, what you study, I guess, and then the job title is what you are actually working, which may be two different things, like in my case at least. So I'm sure there are other people study something and working for something else. So um, about then we have var city, uh, which is a string, um, var country, a string as well, uh, var, let's put a uh, user height for dating site, you need this information, I guess. And of course, var looking for, 
this is a string so if you are male looking for male or female you can specify it here and then var avatar link which is a string and it is going to be used when we save our uh, users avatar in our uh, firebase storage we are going to save the link to the image here so that we can access it later on then we have var liked user array uh, let's liked id array and this is gonna be an array of strings and it's gonna be an optional so it may be nil so user may not have liked id array and this is gonna be used every time we like a user we are going to take the id of that user and put in this array and the reason we are doing this is we don't want to show the same uh, when our user is going to go through all the users we want to show only the users that he didn't already like so if you are, have already liked that user there is no reason to show him again and ask him if he likes the user or no then we say var image links and this is an array of strings again and it's optional and the difference with this and avatar is avatar is going to be only one image and this is the first image that is on our card the user card that we are going to swipe left and right and the image links actually the user may upload up to let's say 10 pictures so you can swipe through the pictures if you want but the first thing you see is avatar you click on this go to user profile and then you can swipe through the images if the user have provided other images apart from the avatar i say let uh, uh, register registered date and this is a constant and we are going to record the date the user registers and by default um, I'm going to set this to current date so whenever we create a user object the registration date is going to be the current date um, and finally we need uh, another var push id and this is a string and it's an optional and we need this in order to send push notifications to the user and the push notification can be for anything you want uh, let's say you receive a like or you receive a message etc in this course we are going to send push notifications only when the user receives a message okay we have created all these parameters of our user object now it complains that there is no initializer because all these things have no initial value speaking of which let's get rid of the object id initial value so we need to create an initializer uh, in order to set these initial values of our user object so let's do that i'm going to say mark init and let's call this initializer and our initializer is gonna have we're going to pass some variables to initialize the user so it's gonna be object id i'm putting an underscore uh, here so that uh, you don't mix it with our object id so we have underscore object id the parameter that we're passing which is gonna be ni uh, uh, string and then we have the email which is a string and we have underscore user name which is a string underscore city is a string underscore date of birth is a date um is mail is boolean and underscore avatar link and by default we're going to pass a default value here it's an empty string so we may pass an avatar link or we may not pass in case if we don't pass by default it will pass a empty string there 
Okay, so we have our initializer. Now we need to set all these values. So our object ID is going to be equals to underscore object ID. And we have our email. It's going to be our equals to underscore email. And we have user username is equals to underscore username uh, date of birth equals underscore date of birth is mail equals underscore is mail and avatar is optional here we are not going to specify it because uh, we are going to set this later on when we uh, grab this avatar link, download the image and set it. So here we are just jumping over avatar and then we have our profession. Profession we are not requiring it to have in a registration form. This will be available to the user in the settings if he wants to complete his user profile. So by default the profession is going to be empty string. Same goes for job title empty string. Um, about is also empty string uh, the city is gonna be equals to the city um, country uh, let's just uh, set this to empty string as well height is equals to 0, 0.0 uh, height we're going to use in uh, meters so it's up to you you can put I'm, I mean feet if you want um, but I'm using meters so it's like 1.8 is 1 meter 80 centimeters then we have uh, looking for is also uh, height oh I have specified my height here as a string and now I'm providing it double that's why it's complaining so let's just uh, fix that we change it to double um, looking for is uh, empty string and we have our avatar link and this is equals underscore avatar link in case if the user provides it or it's going to be empty string um, liked ID I'm going to initialize an empty array here so it's not nil and image links I'm going to initialize it as empty string as well so now uh, the error should disappear because we have initialized all the parameters that our f user object might have whatever we provided here apart from the uh, optional things like push ID is optional we didn't provide and the registration date has a default value here anyway so we have this initializer and now we can create a user object from uh, using this initializer. So let's go to our register user function and here we have a node for us to create a user. So let's create that user and before I do that I need also access to uh, this uh, unique ID that we receive our, after our user is authenticated let me just refresh and see if our user is here so we need access to this one so here I'm going to say if uh, auth data dot user is not equals to nil it means we have this uh, authentication user is this one we are checking if it's nil or no and this user parameter uh, has this unique ID so basically this user is what you see here it has the email address access and it has the unique ID access so I'm going to um, create a user so we say let user is equals to f user and then we can use this initializer here the one with avatar link or without avatar link because remember by default our avatar link has a value so since right now we don't have access to our avatar I'm going to use the one without avatar link then we pass the object ID and the object ID is gonna be this but instead of question mark now we can force unwrap this because we just checked it's not nil 
and then I'm going to get the UID, which is the unique ID, and you can see here that it's a string. The email is going to be our email that we provide, username is going to be our username, city is the city, date of birth is date of birth, and Ismail is mail. So all these things we are providing here. So we just pass the variables from there down here and we do create a f user object. So once we have created this f user object, we need to save it somewhere because this all happens in our registration process. We need to save it so that our uh, user will be available locally on the device as well as on the cloud in our Firestore. So we need to save the user in two places.